Well, hundreds of foreign nationals marched to the Mutato police station in the Eastern Cape demanding protection. They claim to be targets of criminals and their cases are not given attention when reported. They allege within the last three months more than 10 foreigners were robbed and killed and no arrests have been made there. They align the criminal activities with xenophobia. Zamkita Matingwana was at the march. He joins us on the liner. Good afternoon, Zamkita, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Good afternoon, Kirshni. Mm. Zimkita, are crimes against foreign nationals in this part of the country being ignored right now? Uh, what's the sense you get on the ground? Um, first of all, Christian, let me first say that the match was not even attended by hundreds. It was thousands of foreign nationals who took to the streets of Mtata uh, early this morning, uh, joined by, um, in fact, most of the nationals that are affected in these criminal activities are uh, nationals of Pakistani nationals. But we saw a number of uh, other foreigners joining the match today. We saw nationals um, in, in, from uh, China. We saw some for from Somali um, pledging solidarity because they are also affected by these criminal activities. The main issue here is that when their shops are robbed and uh, they, they sometimes they are killed, sometimes they are held hostage, none of those cases ever get a, a prosecution at the end of the day. So this is the reason why they took to the streets today, uh, bringing their demands to, to, to the police of this area to take their case, cases into consideration. They say uh, currently there are more than 14 pending cases, uh, including those, those of the 10 people who were recently killed in the past three months. And they are saying no one has been arrested in those cases. And when we're speaking to police about these issues, they actually confirmed that there are a number of cases which have not been concluded, concluded which they are busy investigating. Samkita, you're with the community, you've been speaking to locals. Is there a fair degree of xenophobia on the streets or not? Uh, what's at the heart of this? Is it crime or is it xenophobia? Um, I, I would say, question of both elements uh, do play a part in these criminal activities because there are many people in this area who operate different kinds of businesses, but we don't see a lot of uh, the type of crimes uh, that are experienced by the foreign nationals because uh, we, we do get uh, cases of robbery in, in other shops which are operated by South Africans, but it, it's rare where you get a case that a person was a uh, held hostage for a week and nothing was done by the police but in their case uh, they are saying that uh, they will be he held hostage for more than a week and um, if they don't give money uh, to those who are holding them hostage then they will end up being killed and they actually took us to a grave, a, a grave site which they used to bury some of the foreign nationals which cannot be sent to their country so they, are, they were actually pleading the police to, to assist them to reduce these criminal activities in this area. Thank you, Zimkita, for joining us on the PM News Desk. Moving on to other news.